Jingle bells are jingling on a one-horse open sleigh, but there's no room for horses on the streets of Causeway Bay. I've never Hello, seen a this is Mr. O. I'm going to teach you how to play Christmas in Hong Kong on piano. Now, I'm not really very good at piano, so I may not be teaching you exactly right, but I will show you what I do when I play this song. This is how to play Christmas in Hong Kong on piano. Now, I'm really not a piano player, so if I'm showing you all the wrong fingers, then I'm sorry about that. Um, when I first wrote Christmas in Hong Kong, it was for guitar. And, um, I, and the chords then were pretty simple, so it's... Jingle bells are jingling uh, on a one horse open sleigh. So it starts on D, then it goes to B minor seventh, and then E minor, then G, and then A. Okay. But over time, I realised that um, it could be a bit better. It could be a bit more Christmassy. And for the piano, I changed the chords a little bit. So here we go. So it starts out the same. In fact, the introduction has a little bit of jingle bells in it, which you will hear. So it goes. So something like, I don't even remember. I always have one or two fingers playing the bass down here. And then it just goes through jingle, the first few notes of jingle bells. I think I'll play like this. Something like that. Um, and then we start to play the song. So I normally have the sustain pedal on, so it keeps playing, but I'm not going to bother with that while I'm showing you. So it starts on D as before. I don't normally put this finger on, so I'll just play it down here. And then we just switch across this finger up here, so it becomes a B minor 7th, so on a one horse open sleigh. And then we go down to E minor, and you can add the 7th if you want, it sounds nice. Or not, up to you. And then we move up again to G. And then this is where it gets a little bit funky, because we need to have an extra chord here. So I'd normally play the G with the, it's just off screen over here, the, uh, the low G as well. And then I need to put, um, and I keep this one on the G, I put this one on E, and this one goes down to B flat. And we get this lovely chord, which I don't really remember what it's called. but it's a very Christmassy chord. Okay, and it sounds nice coming after the G. And then we go back into D. Never. I also changed the words a little bit because I made a mistake when I did the guitar one. It's supposed to be bobtail, not bobcat. So, never seen a bobtail, and I don't know what they are, but oh, what fun it is to ride on the Hong Kong MTR. And then it changes again. So the guitar version, it goes streets of causeway bay. And then it would have gone back to G. Although I like to sing it A, I just don't get that song. There is no snow to dash through. So G to A, it's Christmas G in A, Hong Kong. So it's all very major. So it's now it's quite different. So it goes streets of Causeway Bay, that funky chord, and then we go into the B minor 7th again, okay, so although I like to sing it, again you can add that if you want it, and then we go down into the E minor 7th, although I like to sing it, I just don't get that song, is on um, F sharp minor, and you can see just that just don't get that song up into G and 
then you can't really see it, but over there, we t take a little ride up. Just to get down to the E minor seventh. There is no snow to dash through G. It's funky chord, Christmas in Hong, and then D again. Hong. And that's it. Let me just shift the camera and try and show you a quick playthrough of all of the chords. Sorry, the angle's not quite so good, but hopefully you'll be able to see everything. So here we go. Of course, the final bit of the song is um, the part that sounds a little bit like Christmas bells. So that bit, we're just going down the scale of, um, of D. And that's it. That's Christmas in Hong Kong for piano. There's a small guitar solo in Christmas in Hong Kong, so I will show you how to play that now. So, as I mentioned, Christmas in Hong Kong has a little solo. Um, it's actually for two guitars, and it basically goes like this. So the first guitar is playing down low, and it's just playing the tune on the B string. And then I add a little note here. And then it goes up pretty much the same on the E string. And then to the B string, open. And it repeats. The second guitar doesn't come in for the first bit, obviously. But when it does, it's just one string above. Then it goes a bit higher. And then it goes. it goes right up to 15 and that's it when they're played at the same time you could probably play it yourself at the same time actually <laughs> 